The Leaving Morning, story by Angela Johnson, paintings by David Soman. The Leaving Morning. The Leaving Morning happened on a soupy, misty morning when you could hear the street sweeper. We pressed our faces against the hall window and left cold lips on the pane. It was the leaving morning. Boxes of clothes, toys, dishes, and pictures of us everywhere. The leaving had been long because we packed days before and said goodbye to everybody we knew. Our friends, except they're at the park, the grocer, everybody in our building, and the cousins, especially the cousins. We said goodbye to the cousins all day long. Mom said the people in a truck would move us and take care of everything we loved on the leaving morning. We woke up early and had hot cocoa from the deli across the street. I made more lips on the deli window and watched for the movers on the leaving morning. We sat on the steps and watched the movers. They had blue moving clothes on and made bumping noises on the stairs. There were lots of whistles and watch out kids. Got me a moving hat and a kiss on the head for Miss Maddie upstairs. And on the leaving morning, she told me to watch myself in the new place when I crossed the street and think of her. I sat between my mama and daddy holding their hands. My daddy said, on, said in a little while, we'd be someplace we'd love. So I left lips on the front window of our apartment and said goodbye to our old place on the leaving morning. One thing I want you to take notice of as with this story is the fact that there was repetition throughout. We heard the actual title of the book repeated. We saw some events like the, um, the lips on the windows repeated. We saw them saying goodbye to people kind of throughout the story being repeated. And so repetition is something that an author uses to create a stronger story and make a story more interesting. <laughs>